Yeah, pollen on these bees. Oh, they so smell good. so good. Yeah. Do they so smell good? good. We're going to do something this morning that we've never done before. And so uh, Clara, yeah, Clara doesn't know what it is. <laughs> so we'll show you when we get there, but uh, this should be pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, it should be pretty as well. So here we go. So we're just south of uh, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, this is called the uh, the Lacher Poultry Farm, and they call it the Sunflower Watch at the Lacher Poultry Farm. And so, literally, I mean, what you there's acres Thousands, and acres yeah. of sunflowers Thousands. here. So we're about to get out and uh, get some pictures and take a look and see what it's like. Nothing but good times. This is the good life. See the uh, pollen on these bees. Oh, they so smell so good. good. Yeah. It smells Do they so smell good? good? Wow, the pollen on that bee is just massive. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, look. Look. Come here, this guy. His body is just completely dusted in yellow. See? See all around him? How it's like yellow dust? Yes. That's pollen. And that's how he's pollinating all of these flowers. Yeah, he's actually. Or at least some of them. I'm going to smell this one, Dad. Okay. Oh, it smells so sweet. It smells like lavender on it. <laughs> how about sunflower? Does it smell like sunflower? Grasshopper. <laughs> on that one. Scare me half to death. That's beautiful. Big grasshopper. Right there. It's me for mom to be scared half to death. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can catch him. Oh, he jumped. This one is like the prettiest one. Like, it's as big as my hand now. So this is a really cool place. It's very cool. I mean, just thousands and thousands of sunflowers. It's just beautiful. And they even have the ability, like, uh, to, to pay a dollar and to lop one off and take it with you. This is the good life. I can't believe we've lived in this area <laughs> all our lives practically and this is the first year that I've heard of it um, but I'm glad that we saw it a friend of mine on Facebook came up here with her kids and that's how I found out about it for each sunflower head that you pick you pay a dollar but getting in was totally free yeah it's free so you can get pictures here they allow you to sit for uh, portraits mm -hmm. uh, you can't yeah. put up anything that's permanent no but we saw people with uh, you know, lighting canvases and things like that, getting yeah, professional tripod. portraits taken. Yeah, there's people out with their kids. They've got their kids in pretty little outfits and taking pictures in the sunflowers. It's just, it's beautiful. If you were getting married and wanted a bouquet of sunflowers, this would be the <laughs> perfect place. To place. Come. <laughs> perfect place to come. And it's, it's, uh, nice. it's a nice rural setting as well. What, what was your favorite part of exploring this area, Clara? Picking the sunflowers, a lot I would of fun. say if you are allergic to bees, it might not be the best place to come because the flower, it is nature. So Just there enjoy are... our video if you're allergic yeah. to bees. So today we are going to go exploring a little bit and uh, not quite sure where we're going to end up. Uh, we, we know about a covered bridge over in Thermont, Maryland that we wanted to check out and so we're going to go see if we can find that. We'll see what we get into. This 
is the good life. Okay, so we are here at uh, the Catoctin Furnace. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is something that uh, we saw a sign for as we were driving to the covered bridge. Mm -hmm. And so we're checking it out. So it looks like it should be kind of cool. There's some ruins to look around and the old furnace is still there. So um, it should be neat to see. Okay, so we're inside the furnace. Yes. It's kind of hot. <laughs> no, not really. Cold. <laughs> this furnace was actually in production around 1776. So this furnace actually formed 938 bombs that were sent to Washington's Continental Army and they were used in the Battle of Yorktown. <laughs> so interesting. A little bit of history about this little furnace here in Catoctin. It's pretty cool what history lays around you and uh, you don't even know about. So, mm -hmm. right. good. Let's get some hiking on. Let's do some exploring. All right, so we're down here uh, at the bottom of the trail that we just followed, and uh, it was pretty cool. It leads you over uh, 15, mm -hmm. which would then take you into Cunningham Falls State Park, yep. correct? Yep. So it's a nice way to sneak in the back there. I believe it's the Cunningham Falls Manor area ah, that okay. it leads you into. Apparently there are two different areas nice. uh, for Cunningham Falls, but this is a cute little part of the trail. So what kind of iron, Clara, do you remember? What kind of iron did they manufacture at that furnace? Pig iron. Pig iron. Oh, we were just over there. Huh? Yep. <laughs> we just All right, so we went to Cunningham Falls. We drove through the campground there. Um, a lot of nice spots. Very nice. To come up. Some spots have electric. Some spots are just rustic camping, no electric. But um, it was $5 a car to get in to the parking lot to do the trail. And rather than spend the money there, we came across to Catoctin Mountain Park. Yes, and so we just were kind of driving around. Um, we saw Camp Misty Mount, uh, which I remember my mom talking about going to when she was a kid. So we kind of drove around there a little bit, saw some of the cabins that are there. Um, it's a neat little place. You can rent individual cabins. You can even go as far as renting the whole thing with the dining hall and everything if you have a larger group that uh, you want to get together. Um, but we were just kind of driving around the road to check out some of the different picnicking areas and trailheads. And we came across this one section of the road that had big signs that had stop, restricted area. And we looked at our GPS on Waze and it actually has it marked as the area where Camp David is, the restricted area for Camp David. So I was kind of excited. I always yes. knew they were in the mount. it was in the mountains here somewhere in <laughs> Catoctin, uh, but I had never seen the road for it. Yeah, yeah pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I'm yeah. excited. I can mark that off. I saw the, the entrance, <laughs> entrance to Camp, to Camp David. David so. But anyway, let's see what we can find. We're going to run back here and uh, there's supposedly camping here also in Catoctin Mountain Park, and so right. we're gonna look for that. And we may take on a trail. Yep. Let's see. All right.
so we're here on this sawmill trail, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's called Owens Creek that yeah. we're beside. I think so. And it's a really nice little spot. It ends almost at a reconstructed sawmill site. Which is also uh, exiting right to where the campgrounds were that we just mm -hmm. drove through. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, we, we can patch in here a, a look at what the campsites are like, uh, so you know. But uh, this is a neat little place. You mm -hmm. can play in the creek here and just have a good time. Yeah, very peaceful.